Right. When we're dealing with temperature, there are two versions of uh, temperature that we need to know. One is Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit, and the other is degrees Celsius. Normally, uh, in metric countries, you use degrees Celsius, but in the USA mainly, they use degrees Fahrenheit. So the formula for converting temperature Fahrenheit degrees Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius is given by the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 9 divided by 5 times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. Today in Bangkok the temperature is 31 degrees. Write this in degrees Fahrenheit. Make uh, temperature centigrade the subject of this formula and today in Southampton the temperature was 57 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the temperature in degrees Celsius? So Tf is equal to 9 fifths of Tc plus 32. It's just a matter of substituting in. So when Tc is 31 because it's 31 degrees in Bangkok, Tf will be 9 fifths times 31 plus 32. So doing that, this little bit here on my calculator first by doing 9 times 31 divided by 5. Although you can do the whole thing on your calculator straight away, you get 279 divided by 5 plus 32, and then doing that on my GDC, I'm going to get 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, now I need to make TC the subject of this formula. So write down the formula first of all. TF is 9 fifths TC plus 32. Now make, changing the subject of a formula is about keeping balance. It's the same sort of algebra. So we'll, we'll keep our equal sign in a straight column like this. First thing we need to deal with is the plus 32. So the opposite, remember you use opposite. So the opposite of adding 32 is to take away 32. You need to do that from both sides. If you take away 32 from this side, you're just going to get 9 fifths of TC. But on this side, you're going to get TF minus 32. And on this side, we've got 9 fifths of TC. Well, here we've got divide by 5. The opposite of dividing by 5 is to multiply by 5. Again, you do it to both sides, but when you do it to this side, 5 divided by 5 will cancel, so you're going to get 9 times the TC. And then you need to multiply this side by 5, but you need to multiply both things by 5, so you need to introduce some brackets. So we need to introduce some brackets. On this side we've got 9 TC, so we've got 5 times all of this is what the brackets mean is equal to 9TC. Now multiplying by 9, the opposite of that is to divide by 9. So we're just all going to do, we're going to put 5 over 9, which is 5 divided by 9, TF minus 32. If we do 9 divided by 9 on this side, we get 1TC. So we've just got TC. So we've made TC the subject. Now, okay, the TC is ended up on this side, and the formula is ended up on this side. So we're just going to write it out the other way around. TC is equal to 5 ninths brackets TF minus 32. Notice I've kept all my equal signs in a column, so that I get the idea of balance. Right, so we're now going to use this formula to uh, make find the temperature in Southampton, which is 50, 57 degrees Fahrenheit. What will this temperature be in degrees C? So writing out our formula first, and always in mathematics you should write out the formula first you're going to use. Going to be when TF is equal to 50 degrees Fahrenheit, we've got TC is 5 over 9 brackets 57 minus 32. Now, brackets in mathematics means you need to do that bit first. So 57 minus 32 is going to be 25. So we've got 5 ninths of times 25. When there's no multiplication sign in maths, when there's no, nothing there, you assume that it means multiply. So we'll just do that on our calculator. So we do 5 times 25 divided by 9, we get 13.888 recurring. And then we round it off correctly to three significant figures. So that 8 will make that 8 and 9. So we get 13.9 degrees C to three significant figures.